So if you guys remember, finding the x and y intercepts, I showed my work here. But I also talked about this at the beginning of this chapter. The x-intercept is when y equals 0. So all we're simply going to do is replace g of x, which is our y, with 0. So I have x minus 2 over x squared minus 2x minus 3. Well, guys, if we need to solve for x, we cannot solve for x when it's in the denominator, correct? Correct? So what I'm going to do is multiply by my denominator on both sides. Therefore, I get 0 equals x minus 2. Can I now solve for x? Yeah, it's easy, right? So x equals negative 2. I would prefer that you write intercepts as a coordinate point. All right, Juno, you know what? This is the second time. Thank you. So yes, you're going to add 2, and you get x equals 2. Is everybody OK with that? The other thing I want to show you is a short, a short trick. Guys, since I had to multiply the denominator, and since it's set equal to 0, do you guys just kind of see when finding the x-intercept, you're really just setting the numerator equal to 0? You guys kind of see that? So I'm not going to show my work next time. I'm just going to immediately set the numerator equal to 0. Because you do this operation the same thing, but what happens is that these always divide out anyways. So it always happens. Um, to find the y-intercept, so if x-intercept, x, uh, y equals 0, y-intercept, x equals 0. So I'll just make that y, and then I'll just do 0 minus 2 over 0 squared minus 2 times 0 minus 3. 0, 0, 0. So I get negative 2 over negative 3, which is a positive 2 thirds. Write that as a coordinate point. 0 comma 2 thirds. Yes? How would you find the slant? Well, there is no slant asymptote. 